soaring came from a part of my life where I was feeling really lonely and separated from friendships, separated from family, separated from God. And in that place, I decided to really just ask God, why is it that you're bringing me into this place of desperation, this place of darkness where I have to deal with the temptation of depression, the temptation of anxiety, the temptation of the lies of feeling alone. And I remember just being in that place and worshiping and worshiping and worshiping, trying to find the way out. But the truth of the matter was that God brought me into this dark place so that he could cause me to appreciate the light even more. I related this season to a butterfly coming out of its cocoon, the metamorphosis that you undergo, the change that was taking place. And I knew that God was bringing me through a change that I didn't quite understand yet. My family went to the Butterfly Conservatory in Canada. And when we were there, I went over to the display that they have where they have the chrysalises hanging. And there you can watch the caterpillars emerge from the cocoon and, and come out as butterflies in their transformation. I stood there in front of the display and as I was standing there, I was entranced by this single cocoon of a butterfly that was had already started emerging but wasn't quite there yet. And the butterfly was trying so hard to come out of this cocoon, out of this chrysalis, and it would give it everything it's got for a couple minutes. It would just struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle trying to get its body out of the cocoon. And I remember thinking, oh, I just want to reach in and help you. I just want to make it so that you can get out of this place and step into your transformation, but that's not the way that God created it because if I stepped in as a person to help this butterfly emerge, it wouldn't have worked off the excess fluid that's inside of its body so that it could be stronger and, and then push the fluid out into the wings to cause them to expand and it wouldn't have all of that strength training that it needed in order to survive as a butterfly. So. As I was watching it and it's struggling, it would come to this place where it would stop and it would rest. And it would rest and rest and rest and just absorb the energy again before it would try. And then it would give it everything it's got, everything it's got, and then it would rest. And I was watching this this little creature and I saw myself being reflected in this in this place of transformation where in the cocoon it's dark it's lonely you have no idea what's on the other side of your metamorphosis you you know there's a change happening but you don't know if you're gonna live or if you're gonna die if you're in this place or you're gonna be defeated or if you're in a place where you're gonna be overcoming and when you start to emerge you realize oh I can see the light in the distance and I'm coming into a place of life and life abundant and this is a good change it's not a bad change so I learned how to rest. I learned how to give it everything that I've got and then I've learned to rest and recuperate and rejuvenate and let God speak to me in the stillness and in the peace. And that was honestly harder than the struggle because there was times where I was just struggling and struggling and struggling and wanting to come out of the darkness and just wanting it so badly and worshiping God why aren't you showing me the light why aren't why aren't I breaking free of this and then it was so hard to just wait in the middle it was so hard to wait that was honestly the hardest part was having the patience and feeling the peace knowing that if I relied on God and I rested that he would be faithful to strengthen me so that I could have more energy and more strength to come out. And then in that change, <laughs> coming through, it's like uh, the lyrics will say, bursting from the inside, ripping at the seams, overflowing with life, breaking free, 
that intensity of that moment where we know that here it comes, here it comes, here comes my change. It's, it's right on the horizon. I'm stepping through and I'm coming into this change. And then you just break free. And when then you're on the, on the other side in that freedom, you're like, oh, I'm soaring. Oh, I spread my wings. And here I am, I'm soaring high above anything that you could have ever imagined. God takes you out of that darkness. He takes you out of that place and he shows you like, look at what that place of darkness did for you. Look at how it strengthened you. Look at how it changed you. So now when I go through a season or a moment or a second of feeling darkness, I ask the Lord, what are you showing me and how are you changing me to prepare me for the next part of my life? that's going to be different and going to be miraculous and how are you going to teach me to soar so i want to challenge you too the next time you go through something that's really really difficult instead of taking on a what was me attitude or accepting the temptation of depression or accepting the temptation of, of defeat and loneliness that you just take a step back and say lord what are you teaching me right now? How are you strengthening me right now? And how is this going to make me better and strengthen me for the season of life that you're bringing me into?